is your blue stack slag? And you are not able to play games like BGMI, Call of Duty Mobile, Free Fire, etc. This video will help you to achieve the best performance in your emulator. So before starting the video, here today's sponsor, Asun Remote Desktop. It is a free, fast, stable, reliable remote desktop. You can view and control file transfer on your mobile device wirelessly. It can remote your mobile desktop as well as your games up to 144 FPS. Using it very simple, just download it in your PC as well as in your mobile. Now log in into your account. It take a password or a QR scan to connect mobile with your PC. And now you can enjoy your computer screen on your mobile. Here you can see I am controlling my desktop using my phone. You can also use dynamic gamepads while gaming and also can customize your keyboard according to your game. Here you can see I am playing Fall Guys. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely. From your phone, check out Asun Remote for free. Link is in the description. And get 7 days free trial. Now let's back to the topic. First we need to enable game mode. Simply open settings. Now go to gaming. Game mode. Make sure this is turned on. Now come to graphics. Now here find blue stacks. If you don't see it, simply follow me. Click on browse and find BlueStacks HD Player EXE file. Go to C Drive, Program File, BlueStacks NXT. Here scroll and find HD Player. In my case it's already selected. Now go to Option, and set this to High Performance. Next we have to update our Windows. Check for new updates and install them if they are available. This may improve the overall performance of your system, and fix bugs. Next I will tell you best settings for BlueStacks. Open BlueStacks. Open App Player. Now open its settings. In CPU allocation, select how much CPU cores you have. In memory allocation, select memory half of your RAM. Like if you have 8 GB RAM, select 4 GB. And if you have 4 GB RAM, select 2 GB. In performance mode, select high performance. Enable high frame rate to unlock FPS. Now hit save changes, and restart your emulator. Now again go to settings and go to display. Select resolution according to your display. Lower the resolution will give more FPS. In pixel density if you have low end PC, select 160 dpi, for medium 240 dpi, and so on. Now come to graphics, in graphics engine mode select performance. In Graphics Renderer, select DirectX, Interface Renderer, select DirectX, and here select Hardware Decoding. This will improve the gaming experience. And also if you have a GPU, simply turn this on. Now save changes, and restart your emulator. Now again open settings, go to About, and update your emulator to its latest version. Now download this file link is in the description. Simply open it. First right click on, delete temporary file, and run it as admin, and then hit enter. Next install memory duct. Now let me show you how it's work. So here you can see, I am getting 58% of memory usage. Now simply click clean memory, and boom, now here you can see my memory usage starts decreasing. So whenever you feel your system is getting slow or getting high usage, simply use this to reduce the usage. Now let's open your emulator to see the results. And also guys before playing any game. Do this. Open Task Manager. Now here right click on BlueStacks. And go to Details. And now right click on HD Player EXE. And set its priority to high. Now let's play BGMI. Now here you see game is running smooth. You can do one more thing. That is play in low resolution. And if you still facing problem. Then I will suggest you to watch these videos. And if you are facing high disk usage problem or high CPU usage, simply watch these two videos. So guys that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.